Hey guys, I'm so happy to be back with you. I'm making this video because I want to explain to you why I've been gone for so long. That's the first thing. The second thing is I want to give you a life update and a health update. And then the third thing is I want to explain to you what I'm going to use this platform for going forward because I'm so, so, so excited about it. I just want to say, if you're watching this, you're probably one of my YouTube family that has been there from the very beginning. And I <clears throat> just want you to know how much I appreciate you. YouTube has always been a space where I feel like the community really hear me. And I feel so deeply connected to every single one of you. And that's why it was always on my utmost priority to get back on here. This is where I have really explained my journey and i know so many of you have come on that journey with me and it's been such an honor I'm just so grateful to connect with every single one of you the reason that i have been gone for so long is basically it's been i don't know maybe like a year and a half but i i mean moved countries i'm living in america now we it was like mid covid and all the lockdowns everything got like a little bit crazy so i moved overseas and living in new york now it is pouring rain and gray outside but nevertheless sunshine inside so i moved overseas i also started studying full-time while well, i was already studying full-time but everything just got a little much i was studying full-time moved overseas we're like in and out and every airbnbs everything got a little crazy and then i had the intention of going back to youtube at the start of this year then i had a little health crisis of my own which has ended up being even more inspiration to get back on here because I can and have been able to approach this health crisis from a point of view of having genuine knowledge now before I feel like I was just sharing what worked for me. Whereas now I just knew exactly where to go and what to do. And I had that background and that knowledge and just felt so empowered through the process. So that's why I want to also share that healing journey with you because I think it's really going to resonate. That's why I've been offline for a while. Um, that's the first thing. The second thing is this journey I have been on this last year. It has been mentally, emotionally, spiritually just really, really challenging. Another reason why I was like, I have to get back on YouTube because I know that this community on here is going to benefit so much from this knowledge. I still get answers from you guys a day, every single day asking me about gut health, asking me about immunity, asking me about hormones, asking me about skin, asking me about hair. I was like, I need a long form platform. Oh yeah, YouTube. I'm really excited, but basically I want to keep this video short because I don't really want to rant about myself. This is not what this platform is for, but basically to give you guys a little background so you understand why I'm using this platform for what I'm using it for going forward. And it is all for healing, gut, skin, hair, mental, emotional, spiritual, aligning our chakras, focusing on our meridians, focusing on everything so we can dial in to be the best version of ourselves. Basically, this year has been super challenging. If you guys remember, I went in a van and I was traveling around with Tom having the best time ever. And we'd been in America for like two months at this point and I got COVID and like, whatever, it was fine. I didn't even really notice. We lived in the van. We didn't really see anyone else and everything was great. A week later, we moved to New York. It was my first experience of a proper winter. I was super unprepared, had no jackets, no warm anything. And I didn't really go outside or <laughs> see the sun for like three months. I think my immune system took a hit with the COVID. Then I took this big hit to my immune system with winter. I also was really, really stressed at this time, moving, getting things delivered, new agency, work changes, study, doing exams. So it was a lot on my immune system. Then I went to Coachella and I got COVID again. So I had it like twice in the space of three months, a lot for anyone's body. For me, as you guys know, having the viral load that I've always had with like Epstein-Barr and cytomegalovirus and HPV, we're going to go into that in depth, really in depth. I just think it was a lot for my body. My body was like, whoa, this is a big hit to my system. What happened to living in Byron and going to the farmer's market and living on the beach? All of a sudden I'm like living in America, eating all this different food again, which we know my stomach doesn't like. And then you get COVID twice. A week later, I still had extreme fatigue, extreme digestive problems again, and just feeling terrible. 
And then I woke up five days later after resting in bed for five days in the most pain I've ever been in. I was like, what is going on? And my stomach was distended from the epigastrum all the way down to literally my ovaries. It was distended and it was sharp, it was painful and it was spasmodic. It was like coming in waves and I was like, what? Is going on what did i eat i've been really healthy so i went and had a hot bath then all of a sudden i started vomiting from the heat it was so strange and the nausea was really really extreme and then i sat for a second and i was like i've never had appendicitis but i think i have appendicitis and what really raised the alarm bell was I couldn't empty my bladder. And if you know where the bladder or anyone that's had appendicitis, your bladder and your appendix, often depending on which way your appendix kind of like swings, it's like a little tail at the end of our intestine, bladder can push on it when it's full. It can stop your bladder emptying, it can cause a lot of pain, whatever. And I couldn't empty my bladder and I was like, oh no. Okay, it's a Saturday at like four in the morning. I've got no herbs no medicine, nobody's open. The first thing I wanna say is, if you have appendicitis, don't take it lightly because it can be life-threatening. But for me, I felt like I was in my body, I trusted the process, and if I had herbs, I think I would've done that first. To emergency, got there, they were like, yeah, it's inflamed. I don't think it's gonna burst, but it's really, really inflamed and it is pushing on your bladder. We could remove it. We just remove it for everybody because it's not a necessary organ. Understand that. I understand that point of view. I personally don't agree. I think that our innate intelligence is so much more powerful and much more intelligent than we ever give it credit for. And I don't believe there's any part of our body that isn't necessary. I can attach some PubMed articles about recent findings, you know, like everything is how it is until it's discovered. And we're still learning so much through medical research. And there's been so much research recently about the appendix being a lymph organ, you know, being having a similar function to a gallbladder, secreting fluids, storing white blood cells, all of these things. Like, well, I don't want to get it cut out. Also, I don't want to pay you guys $25,000, which you're telling me it's going to cost to get it cut out. I really appreciate the nurses and I appreciate all the help, but what else can we do? can do really high dose antibiotics and I cried and I cried and I <laughs> it still gets me now because it's so fucking hard to get my health back to how it was and now I'm gonna take a crazy amount of antibiotics again and I and then I called my mom and she was like well either get your appendix taken out and you lose an organ which is forever you can't go back from that and for some people that's fine but who knows will it be fine for you I don't know you gotta do the antibiotics now, three days in the hospital, they hooked me up to the antibiotics. We did high dose, two antibiotics at a time, uh, like metronidazole and ciprofloxamine. Oh, I'm really bad with names of Western drugs, but the two at the same time in a really high dose. We did the IV antibiotics for three days. I got discharged. I had to take another 10 days. I can't remember the name of the antibiotic. And then I woke up a week later feeling uh, a lesser severity of the same. I've taken this and it's done absolutely nothing. I need to research appendicitis and the more I researched it, but don't quote me on this number, but around 60 to 70% of people that get appendicitis, it's it's following a respiratory tract infection. So that made me be like, this has a massive immune aspect. Like, yes, I've got an obvious infection in my uh, intestine, you know, in my appendix is obviously inflammation, bacteria, whatever is going on. But my immune system is triggering this because I am so run down and so depleted. I need to try and regulate my immune system to get to get that immune system working for me, not against me. So that's kind of where I went. And I was like, okay, antibiotics didn't work. I don't want to get my appendix removed. I'm going to treat it with herbs. The only practitioner that would work with me, and God bless him, um, was my professor. And I was like, hey, this is what I want to do. I want to treat appendicitis with herbs. And I'm not recommending anyone do this. I would not have recommended this to anyone unless it was my own body. The reason I was quite reckless was because it was my own body. My own gut instinct and my intuition, my intuition just said, go for it. I treated myself with herbs and like any kind of healing journey, it was like this. I get better for three weeks, I have no symptoms, I feel amazing, but all of a sudden I'm like fatigued, can't move, exhausted. 
feeling nauseous and having this like achy pain and that's kind of how it went it just like up and down up and down up and down so this was like by like july august i'd done like three months of herbs and i kind of had leveled out i'm still on herbs and on like an acute formula maintenance formula you know to try and heal and repair my gut decrease the inflammation and to make sure the appendix doesn't get re-inflamed it was effective so far i can't say that in the future i won't get my appendix taken out who knows but right now it's 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 yeah i'm stable and i feel great so that's kind of what's happened and i haven't been able to be on youtube and express what's going on and and i fell off social media for two and a half months because i just was so deep and i have to figure this out myself i need to heal my body i cannot be stressed your immune system is not going to function if you are stressed you're going to be in a pro-inflammatory state all the time that's why i kind of completely fell off the bandwagon stopped doing wellness wednesdays all the things that i really cared about posting anything actually for almost three months so that's what's happened with me now i'm in the phase of re-healing my gut again to put it into perspective after i had appendicitis end of july i went out for a burger i had like a gluten-free paleo bun was really healthy but I didn't realize the bun had milk in it. And once again, and I cried, I felt like I was back to square one with the food intolerances. I was in so much pain when I got home. Now that I've done the acute treatment, I have literally flushed my body with like herbal antibiotics as well. Even though the study of herbal antibiotics, they can actually enhance your good bacteria and they kind of moderate the terrain. It's still been a lot on my system and those antibiotics knocked me around big time. So I was like, okay, it's time to pair my gut and we're going to do this again. I had a skin flare up. I'll show you some pictures. I'll try to put them up. Here, I had a skin flare up. I had fog, no energy. It's been a massive journey. Again, anyone that struggles with gut health, they understand that it takes a hit. It can really mess with you mentally because I'm like, I worked so hard to get where I was. And now I feel like I've been so knocked around again. Basically came up with like a three-step protocol for myself of how I was going to cleanse and detoxify my gut, how I was going to reseed my gut and how I was going to repair my gut. And I'm still working through the phases, but how much better I feel is incredible. And I was like, wow, when I put together my past experience that taught me so much with gut health, with skin, with everything, when I look at my past experience and then I look at this experience now, not only can I use that information, but I've also studied for three years and I understand what's actually happening in the body and I can apply it to myself. Whereas before I was kind of just trying to keep my head above water, just trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Whereas now I felt so empowered through the process because I was like, okay, I don't know everything. If there's one thing I know, it's a little bit about gut health. I knew that my gut had taken a massive hit and I know what it needs now. And a lot of it is against the mainstream media. A lot of it is against what we're told to eat certain things and take all these probiotics and do all of these things. I've realized like what works for me and what I think will work for so many people that have a similar story to me that are hypersensitive to so many things. That's what I'm really excited to share. I'm excited to share honest, authentic content with you about health, about wellness, about this healing journey. The next series is gonna be, okay, how do we detoxify? How do we cleanse the gut? What did I do? Did it work for me? Things I would suggest. How do we reseed the gut? How do we change the terrain in the gut? How do we make it a happy environment within ourselves? I feel like so much of our perspective around gut health is so under a microscope. It's so isolated from everything else that's going on in our body. And that is what we need to let go of and forget. Nothing in our body works in isolation, nothing. The microbes in your gut that are gonna heal your gut, they're working with enzymes, enzymes that have to be functioning, enzymes that are required to detoxify certain things in your gut. I'm getting so passionate now, I'm like, bah! They're like all the fads that are bullshit. So many fads that just are like, taking people's money what actually brings relief 
And, and is it foolproof? No. Does it work for everyone? I don't know. But I have seen some amazing results in myself and colleagues from different education programs that I've done. This is the way forward and it is not through isolation. It is through connection, whether that be with Mother Earth and with our environment, with the people around us or within ourselves, figuring out the connection between the skin, the gut, the brain, your hormones, what I'm dedicating this platform to. That is what I'm so excited about. I'm also going to open a Rumble account or maybe another account where I can put some content on that I am cautious that YouTube might remove. That's me. That's what's been going on and that's why I'm here. I've also got a brand new skincare routine. I've completely changed my skincare. I'm completely using finally clean products and completely changed my my hair products and everything has changed and that's why I'm kind of excited to give you like Georgia 2.0 and then also some really fun content for you guys as well because um, YouTube is my family it is where I feel the most comfortable I can't speak like this on any other platform you need that long form to get to the nitty-gritty of what you want to get to really excited for this series with you the first little series is gonna be like I said detox reseed reheal your gut probably gonna move on to skin, hair, environmental toxins. I've got an ebook coming. It's all happening. I just want to tell you guys how deeply grateful I am for you again. I want to look into creating some sort of, uh, I don't have Facebook, but a group where we can communicate and we can chat. I'm also offering rise consultations. I graduate in April, which is crazy. So I'll be actually taking clients as a full-time practitioner, which is wild and amazing. Such an honor such an honor to work with people on their health because they get it and also like content on my website it's all kind of coming back together i just had to figure myself out for a minute and i really appreciate your patience with that i feel so connected to you guys i'm so thankful that you're here please also understand that youtube is not monetized at all social media looks flashy and whatever everybody has to pay their bill i'm going to be launching an affiliate program i was like i'm so done doing stupid sponsored content that like, yeah i never post anything i don't resonate with but i want to be shouting from the rooftops the stuff that i use every single day the stuff that i've gone and bought and been like wow this is an amazing product or this is an amazing service i basically reached out to the brands there's only like four or five of them that i feel have really influenced my life in a really positive way and have really influenced my health in a positive way and was like hey you want to be an affiliate and all that means is power in my hands to choose what I want to share with people I already use and I already pay for and it means that my community get a discount and I get a kickback for the time it takes to create and manage and edit all of this content and it also means that I focus on like health and wellness content and just creating that for free because this platform with a stupid amount of ads anyway so <laughs> That's everything. I am so thankful. I appreciate you. Please continue your day with absolute gratitude and love and know how important you are. Your existence is quite literally a miracle on this planet. I read a quote the other day that your DNA could wrap around the earth two million times. That is how much of a miracle you are. So I just, yeah, I appreciate you guys.